time for today's project so welcome back everybody we're sharpening a pair of vintage uh, hedge clippers or I guess limb clippers uh, that belong to my mother uh, she's had them for a long time and is rather attached to them and they have a lot of issues so let's get right to it shall we the first issue is that the clippers aren't attached to the handles anymore uh, at least on the bottom rung on the top run rung they're they're loose and there's a lot of chip uh, chipping and real damage to the actual clippers themselves so <clears throat> we'll start by pulling these pins out straight away to try to pull the uh, handle off the tang and maybe we'll get around to using some epoxy today oh my nails are dirty look at that oh, ew. Um, so anyway let me pause for a second while I think about what to do I'll just take a moment well, I gotta put some tools away but this is where we're at now got the tang out which will make accessing that gouged up blade a little easier and securing the uh, handles back on I'll probably use epoxy uh, and yeah all right I'll come back I think I actually prefer the overhead shot to this but this is what we're getting today this camera and this promises to be noisy because the belt grinder is just noisy by default I gotta figure out the best way to do this <clears throat> which I think is gonna look something like this so I'm gonna make sure I can
I'm going to remove. I want to separate the jaws. So that's this. I'm just going to use a crescent wrench because there's not a lot of torque involved. just got the one side uh, which needs to go back over to side. So now we go back to the sharpening stones. Uh, let's get the cheap Chinese one out because that's what I want to use. Get the rough side out open this up Chinese sharpening stone away. 
You'd think it would use files more, but uh, that never ends up happening. At least not for vintage hedge clippers. They just needed a comp to be completely reprofiled. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. With that edge. Pretty darn happy with it. So, let's, uh, this guy back on. with how not flat I kind of wish I had a larger bench sander but this is what I got so still not perfect. Let's go a little further.
take a minute and treat them with uh, let's let's use that recycled oil from the wave because who doesn't like a little bit of oil in the mix you can't see that I'm just wiping oil over the metallic surfaces nothing too dramatic wiping the excess oil off on the metal surfaces on the clippers decent set of clippers again. <clears throat> that look like they've been taken very well care of. So. Well, thanks for coming along for this trip. Uh, just sharpened some clippers. Couldn't do much without firing up the welding machine or doing something else to correct the overbite there that these have overbite on the tip uh, and that's because of the stopper down there uh, which should be stopping the clippers about there and or maybe a little a little a little more close Probably should be stopping the clippers about there, and clearly isn't. But that's neither here nor there, and they're still plenty safe, and they're nice and sharp. So until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe if it suits you, uh, and good